post up YouTube, you can put the tweet, it's my 10 day update, um, I had a very good day yesterday, very good day. Um, I started on this medicine, they say that most people that have black band or gastric bypass end up having to have their gallbladder taken out, and, um, they gave me this medicine called, well, the real name of it is called Astagol, but this is called Mirisoldale or something like that, Mirisoldale or something. But, um, started taking that yes, day before yesterday, I started taking it Monday, a week after up, and, oh my god, my stomach, when I went to bed Monday, was killing me. Mind you, it was also the first day that I could eat vegetables, for the second day. So I had a um, couple pieces of broccoli and some green beans, um, like four bites with all I could eat. So that was really the second time I've had some solid food. I had ate a portobello mushroom the night before. But um, I went to bed and my stomach was killing me. Killing me. I woke up and I had the worst case of diarrhea. The worst case. I mean, I couldn't even do anything. I stayed in the bed almost all day yesterday. I had to get up because they had an appointment. And I just felt like crap. I couldn't do anything. I drove for the first time yesterday feeling like I was going to, I just feel like I was going to pass out, I um, was freezing cold, I just did not feel well whatsoever, so I came home and I took my temperature and I had a slight fever, it was just 125 and um, I took two time off the and I went to sleep and I sweated so bad in my sleep. And, and actually, the night before, when I said that my stomach was hurting, I woke up the next morning and my hair was soaking wet. So I feel like I had a fever Monday as well, I just didn't know it. But, um, yeah, I felt like crap. I didn't feel like doing anything. And I think it's because of this acetol. I haven't taken it today and I feel terrific. Um, it's... Some of the side effects are, you know, uh, upset stomach, diarrhea, and, you know, things like that. So, I assume that's where that part of it came from. But the fever, I don't know. Um, I just felt terrible. And today, I really haven't ate much. Um, I had a couple bites of yogurt and um, some skim milk uh, string cheese. And that's all I've had so far in it. Well, it's just 937, but I've been out since 6. Um, I don't know. I felt terrible. Anyway, enough for that part. I am breaking down. I want to weigh myself. I want to weigh myself so bad because I've been on this liquid diet since, what, Saturday? Last Saturday? Over a week? And looking at my face. I mean, I know a week's not going to make you lose a whole bunch of weight, and I have no restriction right now, but just from the fact that I'm not eating real food, <laughs> um, I feel like I've lost some weight because my chin is gone. <laughs> I don't know where my chin is. I mean, it's, and I know I've had to lose at least a couple pounds, but, and I know I keep saying I don't want to weigh myself until... Yeah, this thing, but um, when I go back to the doctor, I'm still pink. But I'm starting to break down, and I feel that if I had scales, if I owned scales, I would have broke down and weighed myself to that. But I'm back, so I'm not. But I um, just wanted to let you all know, you know, I did have a bad day yesterday. I've been wonderful all this of the time, but yesterday was terrible. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of sleepy. I feel great. Um, there's only one spot that's still kind of bothering me, and that, that's where they did the hernia repair. 
otherwise I feel great. There's nothing I can I can bend over a whole lot more. I'm not a hundred percent, but I can bend over. I still can't lift anything. Um, I'm sleeping pretty well because at first when I would sleep, I would be anywhere I laid, I would be laying on on the cushion and felt terrible. But my cushion still still good, all except for the one where they did the dog bladder. My stomach on my left side is still kind of numb to touch. But I can feel like deep within, I can feel. And uh, the right side feels 100% normal. Um, all of my gamma bonds come off of my far right incision. And um, there was a little bit of dry blood. And when I took a shower, um, uh, that dry blood came off of that. And it left kind of like an opening there. So I put a band aid on it and covered it up. Um, my tape came off of my port pipe. So that's exposed now. I still have tape on the one where they do the honey repair. Otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good. Still don't have much of an appetite. I get hungry every now and then, but not. I don't have much of my appetite, but um, anyway, please give me an update, I'll try my best not to go somewhere and weigh myself, because I want to weigh myself, and I never want to weigh myself, ever, but um, anyway, pop off for now.